Hello everybody and welcome to another video of Diablo 3 Reaper of Souls. Uh, this will be another quick video, I just wanna show you um, my my build and also my items real quick. Uh, I done uh, a video about this uh, earlier, which had a lot of views, uh, thank you for watching it. And, um, and in this video I just wanna show you how ridiculous uh, this is starting to, to be. So, uh, as you can see, this, these are my stats, I will show you my details real quick, so you can pause the video if you want to like study them or whatever. So, there you go. Also, I'll show you my uh, Paragon, I'm using a movement speed to max out my movement speed with 12% uh, boots. Also, I'm using strength for damage, I was thinking about vitality, because I could use uh, maybe more HP. However, it's not as bad as it looks. Okay, in offensive, I'm using critical hit chance because I like to do a lot of crit, uh, crit damage. Uh, I mean crit um, crit hits. Also, in defense, I'm using HP regeneration, so I have some uh, some healing. And in utility, I use uh, life on hit, also because of healing. Okay, uh, I'll show you my build real quick. Uh, since the last video, I found uh, a couple of new items, which made this build just... I, it's, I mean, it's crazy. It, it's just getting plain stupid. You'll see in a minute. So, uh, this is the Shard of Hate. Uh, the build is all about this item. However, uh, I also have a Fulminator, which is a quite a nice sword. It also gives, um, it gives uh, like, a proc. Um, when uh, when you hit the mob, uh, there is a chance, I'm not sure how big the chance is, but it's at least 50%, maybe more. Uh, so there's a chance you will uh, do like a debuff on the mob, and the mob will uh, shoot lightnings uh, into other mobs nearby. Uh, so yeah, that's quite nice. Okay, I'll show you my items real quick, if you want to see the, the, the items you can pause it. Uh, so th these, uh, these boots are dealing 100% uh, fire damage on the ground, which is quite nice. Yeah, these are the pants. I got Trifecta Rings. One, two. I got both of them uh, from um, Kadala or whatever her name is, uh, who is selling the gamble stuff uh, for, for these uh, blood shards. Also, I have uh, Trifecta Gloves. A nice belt with, uh, with Life Per Fury. Uh, this item could be better, uh, the bracers, uh, but it's quite nice uh, when you... When you uh, get uh, your resource full uh, for every well you find. Yeah, the armor is just a basic yellow armor. It's quite nice. Uh, the shoulders, basic shoulders basically. Um, the Andrael's Visage Helm, uh, th this is a great addition to, to my build because it also deals uh, damage on hit. And uh, with my attack speed, I hit like, I don't know, two times a second. So uh, you, you will see there's a small poison nova around me and it, it does a crit for like one million or so. So yeah, uh, this is my amulet, I would like to get a Trifecta one, and that's basically all I think, yeah. Okay, um, I'll show you my build real quick, so I'll just hover uh, on the skills so you can see which runes I'm using. Basically it's all about the, the lightning skills. I have a Wrath of Berserker just to not get jailed and frozen and stuff like that. So yeah, there you go. These are my passives. I could go take care of those. Bloodthirst for healing, everything else is basically for damage. So yeah. Th this is kind of a glass cannon build, as uh, some, some of you uh, wrote on the forum topic. Uh, I could use a little bit more sur survivability. However, the damage is just insane. Y y you'll see what I mean. Uh, this time I'll do a rift, so I can actually show you some, some real action, and not just fighting white mobs uh, somewhere in the cemetery or whatever. So uh, yeah, there we go. Let's roll. Okay, so uh, as you will see in a minute, uh, this this build with the combination of those two swords is just insane. I, I mean, it, it's plain stupidity. Uh, when I compare my, my uh, character with my friends, I deal like, I don't know, maybe four or five times more damage than they do. Uh, but they, they do have relatively comparable items that, uh, to me, so, so yeah. Just check it out. Um, okay, let's roll. So hopefully I will find a lot of mobs here. Yeah, here we go. Okay. So yeah, there you go. Check it out. This is Torment 3. I'm, I'm not sure how you guys are doing on Torment 3. I'm not saying I'm the best barbarian in the world. I'm probably just a massive noob as always. However, um, the, the combination of the items and the, the, the build which I'm using is just... I, I mean, it, it's crazy. I, I never imagined I would be so overpowered in, uh, in Diablo um, as I'm now. 
uh, I, 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 I'm really enjoying the game now because yeah, it is just stupid how, how strong I am and um, and yeah, it's a, it's a lot of fun. Uh, when people have problems with, with a lot of mobs, they they can't like uh, even if they can survive them, uh, they they can't like kill them. However, as you will see in a while, killing a lot of mobs, a lot of white ones, is absolutely no problem. Check it out. Wow, they they just explode. This this is like a, the Ben Hammer or something like that. So so yeah, this is the real Nephilim power which uh, Zoltan Cool was talking about probably. However, that noob just didn't have the shard of hate uh, as I do. So yeah, there you go. Uh, someone also suggested I should use um, Berserker Rage, I think is the name, uh, instead of um, instead of just give me a second, I'll show you. I, I can't check out skills. Oh, okay, give me a sec. Yeah, now okay. Uh, instead of Rampage, I could use uh, Berserker Rage, but I very rarely have a full um, full fury. Well, I do have now, just I'm talking about it, but usually I, I do like a Whirlwind quite a lot and my Fury is very rarely on, on maximum. Uh, I, I mean, when there are like 20 mobs around me, it is, but it usually stays on maximum for like a second or two because I kill the mobs in a second or two and then it just drains my Fury, you know? So I I think uh, the, um, the Rampage thing is uh, is quite okay because uh, in at least in Rifts there's usually... Um, a big concentration of mobs and uh, there's not a problem to get 25 uh, stacks of this I'm talking about this which, which increases your strength uh, for 1% I think for every mob you kill yeah up to 25% for 8 seconds so yeah it's quite good um, I, I was uh, thinking about using the Berserk Rage but as, as I said um, I, I very rarely have a full uh, fury so, so yeah, um, maybe if I could sur survive uh, higher difficulties, I could um, have more fury because I would be fighting with the mobs longer. But uh, currently the mobs just, I mean, as you can see, they, they get absolutely owned. So, um, so there, there's no doubt about it at the moment. Um, I could probably use uh, more more health glow bonus. I currently have only like fifteen thousand, uh, which is uh, which is not as much. Okay, here you got elites. Uh, I mean, um, yeah, elite packs. Uh, one of them and the second of them. I, I didn't even use Wrath of Berserker. The, the damage is just stupid, as you can see. So yeah, there you go. Uh, the only thing I have problems with is uh, Jailer because Jailer stops me from uh, from spinning with my whirlwind and also nightmarish. It also stops me from spinning. Uh, all the others can be basically dodged. Uh, Waller can be quite nasty, but uh, Frozen can be relatively easily dodged if you if you see the the the, um, the Frozen enchant on the mob uh, before you get like five explosions of Frozen in your face and you know you know. Okay, uh, let's head to to the next level because this one kind of sucks. Uh, some of these rifts uh, can spawn uh, like 15 or 20 elite packs. And some of them spawn like two, maybe, you know. So it, it, it kind of varies. Um, I, I'm not sure if it's absolutely random or how it works, uh, because I didn't really research it. I'm just rolling with it, uh, whatever, and owning everything in my way. So as you can see, some mobs don't even touch me and they die. <laughs> I mean, it's just ridiculous. Uh, some of uh, you barbarians out there who have, I don't know, like uh, 1.2 million uh, damage uh, and um, and like 20 million toughness and stuff like that. If you try this build uh, and you have the Shard of Hate and possibly a Fulminator or maybe a Thunder Fury sword or maybe the the um, Mad Mourner Scepter, I think. Not, not sure what's the name. Uh, you, you guys could do much, 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 much more damage than I do, probably. Because, yeah, uh, I'm just a massive new one, not the best barb out there. Anyways, um... So I'll, I'll try to find uh, like a bigger pack of mobs so I can actually show you what I do when I use my Berserker Rage. Yeah, so here we go. Okay, there's another one. Okay, so two packs here. Not as much, but okay, better than nothing. Okay, let's roll. Wham, and everything just like explodes. I had to use a healing potion there because, I don't know, I just got a lot of damage. Okay, so there we have some Frozen. I usually try to run away from it. Uh, I am immune to it uh, with Berserker, but you still get the damage, so yeah. It's not as good to eat uh, 15 frozen explosions in your face. 
But uh, anyways, you get the point. As you can see, I owned uh, like 20 white mobs and two packs in a matter of, I don't know, maybe 5 or 10 seconds or how long it took me. So, uh, yeah, there you go. Okay, um, I will probably just finish this round so you guys can uh, can feast on my uh, epic awesomeness. Ho, ho, ho. Okay, um, anyways. Um, I, I, I gotta say, I, I was very, very lucky with the drops uh, recently. I got like uh, these uh, new fireworkers, which which are just insane. Also, I had uh, two trifecta rings uh, just in my inventory when I returned from some uh, random run or whatever. So uh, yeah, uh, you gotta have a, a bit of luck. Uh, th this build is very very dependent on the items because uh, it, it utilizes the shard of hate and also the fulminator or possibly thunder fury or uh, mad monarch scepter or whatever you're using. But the the shard of hate is the main thing. Without the shard of hate, I'm not sure if this build would be possible. I mean, it would be possible, but you wouldn't deal a anywhere near this uh, this kind of damage. Okay, so this is the Jailer, which I talked about, which I have some problems with, but uh, yeah, okay. Oh, shit. So as you can see, I could use some more survivability, but it's not as bad as I would expect for Torment 3. Uh, on Torment 2, I'm basically I invulnerable. Uh, I mean, <laughs> seriously, it's, it's, it's crazy. No nothing can touch me. And uh, in Torment 1, it's just plain stupid. Th those mobs usually don't even see me. I, I just... Whirlwind my way through anything which, which tries to be foolish enough to, to get in my way. So yeah, there you go. Um, I, I read on the forums that um, wizards uh, are, are OP and stuff like that. Uh, that is quite possible. Uh, I, I guess it's true and I just uh, don't know about it because I'm a massive noob. But uh, but with, with this sword... I, I mean, I, 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 when I play public games on uh, Torment 3, I very, very, very rarely find anyone who can uh, match my damage. I mean, uh, the, the, the poor wizards are so jelly, uh, they will burst in flames in a while, because uh, they, they deal like, I don't know, maybe half or, or quarter of my damage. You know, so uh, they, they think uh, they are like OP as hell and stuff like that. Okay, I'll just, we'll just throw this crap away. Oh, shit. Come on, give me a second. I just want to throw my stuff away so I can actually kill you guys and pick the epic loots from you. Um, also I will try to show you my, you my pants in a, in a sec, uh, also my shoulders, Bo both of them are crafted. I just gotta kill this elite pack, just give me like 5 seconds maybe, okay I gotta use a potion. Yeah, so um, I, I, I usually use potions on cooldowns, however now at the moment I use potions on uh, on elite packs when uh, when I'm foolish enough to, to stand in like uh, five arcane lasers and uh, molten on the ground and poison and whatever you want. But um, the, the, the Wrath of Berserker ability, I'm using that only uh, when they have Jailer, jailer or uh, Nightmarish or Frozen or crap like that. Well, basically, when I have a problem uh, using my Whirlwind, uh, because they stopped me somehow. But uh, w without um, any um, crowd control abilities on Elite Packs, it's it's just useless for me. I, I mean, the, the damage is so stupid, I don't really need the, the Wrath of Berserker. Uh, if you guys got any tips how I could uh, fight the, the crowd control on the mobs uh, without uh, the Wrath of Berserker, just, just write it in the comments. Uh, either on the forum or on the uh, on the vi video um, under the description. So so yeah, uh, I, I was thinking about ignore pain because that uh, I think that uh, like um, stops the crowd control effect on you. But that has a 30 second cooldown I think, and also uh, you will probably just get another jail in like two seconds. You know, so I I'm not sure if uh, if it's so good. But yeah, Wrath of Berserker is nice. Oh yeah, I wanted to show you the pants. Okay, so he, these are the pants, and these are the shoulders. I crafted uh, both of these items, and I was quite lucky with the roll, that's gotta be said. But uh, you can actually craft some really, really nice gear in, in, uh, in Reaper of Souls. So uh, so yeah, um, I, I really like the, um, the Diablo now, uh, because... Um, it, it, it reminds me a little bit of Diablo 2, uh, how the Paragon uh, works, you can actually somehow customize your class. And also now it's uh, all about uh, playing and crafting and enchanting. 
there is no auction house, so it's not like you will take 5 million gold and buy 2 times better gear than you have. You actually gotta play and you gotta get the gear yourself. Or, if you play with friends, you can get the gear from friends. Uh, for instance, the, the Fulminator Sword, which I'm using at the moment, uh, I, I got that from a good friend of mine. So, so yeah, he, he was uh, so good to me, he just gave me the sword. I was like, oh my god, please, I really want that sword because it's like one of the best swords and it will be really great with my build. So I kind of convinced him. I gave him uh, like a 3k uh, damage uh, two-handed sword uh, in return, but uh, but yeah. The sword is really nice. I, I, I was thinking about getting a Thunder Fury sword, which could be better for smaller packs, but it probably wouldn't be better for large packs, so I'm not, not quite sure. Uh, maybe you guys could comment on that and uh, like give me some tips or, or so on if, uh, if I should get a a Thunder Fury or keep the Fulminator or what. I was thinking about the Mad Monarch's Scepter and uh, and I I'm not sure if it's as good as uh, the Fulminator or the Shard. Basically nothing is better than the Shard in my opinion, but uh, if it's better than the Fulminator because uh, when, you, when you're fighting elite mobs, I mean there's a lot of mobs here at the moment, but uh, when you are fighting like three elite mobs uh, I, I'm not sure how much it will proc because you will need a. Uh, it, it procs uh, on every 10th kill, I think. So we have to kill 10 mobs to to uh, get the proc of the poison nova. But uh, I, I mean, I'm I'm not sure. May, maybe you could just uh, give me a tip on that. So um, at the moment I'm rolling with the fulminator sword. Okay, uh, let's kill this boss and let's get the fuck out of here. Okay, uh, so um, with, with these um, rift, rift bosses, uh, they, uh, I mean, sorry, Rift Guardians, they are usually quite strong. I mean, uh, on, to on Torment 1 or 2 it's nothing, but on Torment 3, they can do some crazy damage. There's uh, there's a Fire Maiden, or what the fuck her name is, and uh, she can basically almost one-shot me. She gives me like 90% of my life damage or something like that. So. Uh, yeah, you gotta be uh, careful with these ones, but this one is quite new, bitch, as you can see, so, yeah, not not, not much interesting there. So, uh, yeah, she, she gave me a Forgotten Soul, I guess she's not Ginger. Okay, um, anyways, uh, so this is my, uh, my epic uh, godlike build, as I'm calling it, or god mode build, or whatever you wish, and... Um, and as I said, it's about the combination of the build and uh, and the, the the shard of a hate sword, and also the fulminator is quite nice, and also the Andariel's visage is quite okay because it procs quite a lot, and the boots do fire damage on the ground. I mean, I got a lot of procs and stuff like that. I also have a belt which deals like uh, I don't have it here. I can show it uh, to you. I got it in the stash, and I'm waiting for uh, for Blizzard to fix the roll on a uh, fury. Uh, sorry, f uh, on a uh, life per fury spend, because I read on the forums. I'm not sure if it's uh, fixed or not uh, at the moment, but I read on forums that it's bugged and it basically doesn't roll at all. Uh, this belt, I guess, it has uh, like a static uh, value of that or whatever, or a static uh, like um, um, attribute. Because uh, this is like the only belt I found with this, and uh, one guy said, uh, actually, many people said they r tried to roll into another belt, um, the the life per fury, like 50 times or something like that, and they just failed. So I'm waiting for that to get fixed, and then I will probably use this belt. Uh, it, it's not like uber, but uh, when the mobs hit you, when they hit you, when, either when you block, dodge, or get hit, so basically every time you get hit, you you throw small lightnings on the ground. I, I can try to show you maybe what I mean. Just give me a sec. I'll jump back real quick. The lightnings... Uh, th there isn't a lot of those lightnings, but uh, but they are relatively strong, I think. Check it out. They, I think they crit for like 1 million or something like that. See? Uh, 700,000, 800,000. So, yeah. Every time you get hit, you cast a small lightning. So th this could uh, probably help me with my procs and make me even more OP than I am. Uh, with the combination of the boots, uh, it basically deals the same amount of damage. But uh, the boots are nice because uh, when I'm uh, when I'm whirlwinding through the mobs, I burn the ground also under them. So if they somehow manage to survive my uh, massive whirlwind attack, uh, they get burned anyway. So yeah. Anyways, uh, I will probably roll um, f either. F 
I guess I will roll Frenzy into into Life Per Fury spend, and this will be like one of the best belts I got, I got at the moment. So yeah, there you go. Okay, I'll head back real quick here, so I can sell my crap. And yeah, so uh, please guys, let me know what you think. And uh, if you got any suggestions for me, um, all ears, um, I will be happy to, to hear them and I will maybe act accordingly to them if they are good. Uh, and if not, well, uh, tough luck, I guess. Anyways, uh, thank you everyone for watching. Uh, this was Diablo 3 Reaper Souls, um, my godlike or god mode build, whatever you want to call it. And yeah, if you like my videos, just subscribe and see you guys next time. Goodbye.